Live, local, late breaking. This is WAOV News 10 at 6. Welcome to Albany and Southwest Georgia. I'm Dawn Hobby. And I'm Ben Roberts. We're anchors here at WAOB TV. I'm a South Georgia native, and let me tell you, Southwest Georgia has it all. The beautiful Flint River winds its way through Albany and has become the anchor for much of the city's downtown revitalization. From activities at Turtle Grove Park and the Flint River Aquarium to the Ray Charles Plaza and the new Science Discovery Center and Planetarium at Thronatiska Heritage Center, the atmosphere in downtown Albany is crackling with excitement. I was born near Albany and chose to live here. Albany is ideally located just three hours from the world famous beaches on the Gulf of Mexico to the south and three hours from Atlanta to the north. Albany means business. Georgia was listed as the fifth best place for business in Forbes 2008 magazine. CNNMoney.com listed Albany as one of the best small places and here's why. Albany is the industry, business, retail, education, culture, healthcare, and media hub for a large growing region. Nearly 80,000 people call Albany home. And with metropolitan statistical area of five counties, over 160,000. The Albany area supports more than 118 manufacturing plants, which includes names like Procter & Gamble, Coors, Miller Brewing, and Master Foods USA. Albany also ranks second in Georgia in telecommuting. Since 1952, Albany has been the proud home of the Albany Marine Corps Logistics Base. Its mission is vital to America's international chain of defense. It serves as a powerful economic engine for our region and provides more than 2,000 civilian jobs. More than 4,000 military retirees chose to live in Darty County. Albany is rich with the opportunity to enjoy the arts at their finest, from the Albany Symphony Orchestra to the Albany Museum of Art, from the Albany Ballet Theater to Theater Albany. When it comes to the arts, Albany has it all. Yet another jewel of Albany in the surrounding region is the 800-acre Cheehaw Park. The highlight is the Cheehaw Wild Animal Park, one of only two zoos in Georgia accredited by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. Did you know Albany was the home of entertainers Ray Charles and Ray Stevens? More recently, the Albany area produced country singer Luke Bryant and world champion San Francisco Giants rookie sensation Buster Posey. For 56 years, Albany has been home to WALB-TV. As the dominant television station in the market, WALB has been second only once when it was the second television station to sign on the air in Georgia back in 1954. As a testament to our station's pioneering ways, a WALB color studio camera, one of the first made by RCA, is now on display at the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C. in the Science and Technology Building. WALB continues to be ranked as the number one NBC affiliate in the country and number three among all network affiliates in Sign On to Sign Off Household Share. Our 2010 Nielsen books were some of our best news numbers ever. WAOB is a great way to target African American audiences. Albany has the 10th largest African American population percentage, and Albany is a top 65 market for the African American population. WAOB is also a great way to reach farmers. We have a high concentration of agricultural activity. In many categories, Albany ranks in the top 50 and even top 5 markets in the United States and out ranks all other Georgia markets. Without true news competition here at home, we look forward to the Georgia Association of Broadcasters Awards. Since it's the one time each year we compete with all the stations across the state outside Atlanta, this year WAOB received a record 14 awards from the Georgia Association of Broadcasters in June, including Community Service Station of the Year and Television Station of the Year. WAOB has been Georgia's television station of the year for four of the past five years. And I should add that my co-anchor, Dawn Hobby, won the Top TV Personality Award for 2009. And I must follow up by congratulating Ben Roberts for his Emmy Award in 2010. WLV also won 10 Associated Press Georgia Awards, enough awards to pick up the coveted Pacemaker Award. WALB has the only live truck in our market and the only satellite mobile newsroom. So we cover the news more completely than anyone else, including bureaus in Valdosta and Thomasville. Each of our half hour newscasts ranks far above our DMA rank. Number five at 5 a.m., number nine at 6 a.m., 
13 at 6 p.m., 28 at 5 p.m., and number 20 at 11 p.m. As we like to tell our advertisers, you would need to buy two stations in another market to achieve the shares of viewing you receive on WALB. You'll be working closely with our hardworking traffic department. We'd like you to know that traffic manager Linda Wells and national sales assistant Sandy Gerald have both been at this station for more than 20 years. They're the reason we have such a great reputation with ad agencies for running clean schedules. WALB has seen a lot of change over the last 56 years, but one thing that won't change is our commitment to excellence and our commitment to our community. From all of us at WALB-TV, a proud member of Raycom Media, we look forward to working with you.